Hey, that was a lot of fun. Again, uh, fun to give away tickets. Fun to have Black Desert hosting a PGA Tour event and have Mark Musgrave on the show. And the guests just keep rolling in. The guests just keep rolling in. And we've got the Dixie Juniors in the house. And we don't have head coach Jeremy Graff. He couldn't make it in today. Um, we'll miss him. But uh, assistant coach Eric Hansen is here. And then we've got eight of the players. And uh, coach, a bulk of the team getting up, waking up, and uh, coming to hang with us here on the Fan Sports Network. Good to see you, coach. Congrats on making it to the Western uh, Regional. Yes, thank you very much. It can be exciting. Take, take me through... Uh, the win to represent Utah to get to this regional. You guys are going out to Bend, Oregon next week. Yeah, we we had the uh, state tournament last week, last Saturday or last Friday, and you know these boys they were they were down coming into the seventh inning. Uh, I think it was four to five, and you know Jeremy and I we said you know do we need to start you know telling them to hold their pitches and and start trying to be a little bit more creative on on how we played that last inning, and we just decided you know. These boys know how to play baseball. Let's just let them play baseball. So we just kind of handed that last inning to them, and, and they came back on a what was it? A three run, three run three inning, inning, boys. Four to one, yeah. But uh, but yeah, we we got ahead in that last inning, and then we we held them, and uh, and we took the the championship. We we had lost going into the tournament our first game, which put us into that losers bracket, and it's a double elimination. So we were able to. Uh, we had to play every day for a week, but but they kept winning and kept advancing and, and took us to the championship and we won it. So That's fantastic. We took the long route to get there. That's fantastic. So tell me, you're going out to Bend, Oregon. Yes. Um, when do you leave? Next week? This weekend? We leave, we leave Tuesday. Next, next Tuesday. week. Yes. It's coming quick. It came quick. Yeah, that was, we had about a nine day turnaround from the time we won to the time we take off. So, so yeah, it's quick. So these boys have been out there trying to bust their butts, trying to earn a little bit of money, get the community behind them, um, and a little background on it. We're, we are, with that win, we are the one team that does represent the entire state of Utah. So um, our first game on Wednesday is going to – we're going to go head-to-head with Hawaii. Wow. Hawaii, 1 o'clock on that Wednesday. Cool. Are those yeah. televised anywhere? Uh, yes, they will be televised. We haven't gotten the link yet, but they will be televised. I love it. Love it. Yeah, I'm sure some people back home, we'll, we'll have to get that out to all our listeners when you get that. Get that to me, Coach. But let's meet the boys, and then we'll circle back to Coach. Uh, one by one, step right up. We'll just work from you know the corner around. Um, introduce yourself, what position you play, maybe uh, your favorite player, favorite subject in school. I know you guys are all stellar scholar athletes, yeah. student athletes. Let's go, buddy. All right. I'm Austin Haster. I play center field and shortstop, and I pitch. Um, my favorite MLB player is Tony Gwynn. My favorite subject is math. Wow. Dude, nailed it. Hold on. I'm not done with you. Get back to that microphone for just one second. What pitches do you throw? Um, four seam, two seam, curve ball, and change up. Is, is, no slider yet. Not throwing the slider yet. No slider. When are you going to start mixing that in? I don't know. Probably a year. <laughs> I want to. I want to learn a slider. Let's go. Let's go. Nice to meet you. All right. Who's next? We're meeting the junior team going to Bend, Oregon. Let's go. Step right up. I'm Jager Graff. I play basically anywhere, but mostly third. Um, my favorite player is Manny Machado, and I like math. Wait a minute. So you're the utility guy? Can we we, we call you the Swiss Army knife of this team, or what? <laughs> yeah, I guess. What do you mean you play? What positions you've played this summer? Uh. Anywhere. I know, but what ones have you but mainly third? I played third, center, pitcher, and catcher. All right. Coach, yeah. you can put him anywhere? Yeah. Yeah, he's a great <laughs> utility player for sure. I love it. Nice to meet you. Good stuff. All right, who's next? Uh, my name is Corbin Hansen. My favorite MLB player is Cody Bellinger, and I play mostly left field. Okay, left field. How's the bats? You rattling it right now? Uh, Yeah. I got walked about like seven times last tournament, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Yeah. Hey, sometimes that's as good as a hit. You yeah. gotta be patient at the plate, yeah, right? On bases, yeah, that's, more on base important. percentage. So, what do you know? What your OBP is playing um, with this team? No, I bet it's pretty high though, because you get walked <laughs> mostly every time. So, are you just being selected with your pitches, or are they pitching around you? Uh, they're pretty much just pitching around me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Nice to meet you, bud. Have fun out there in Bend, Oregon. Thank you. Hey, do you want? You got any questions for that kid? We'll talk when we get home. <laughs> I love no, it. No, he's great. Is it fun having him on the team? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's Good. Fun. Good. My name is Luke Penninger. My favorite player is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I play third base, outfield, and pitcher. How many pitchers do you have on this team, Luke? 
everybody pitches. Everybody can pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, we're pretty stacked there. What, what are you throwing when you're on the bump? I throw a curveball, slider, knuckleball, four seed, knuckle curve. Yeah. You got a knuckle curve? I want to see that. I want to see that. Is it dirty? You can get some movement on it? Yeah. <laughs> yep, just I am. Uh, what are you most looking forward to about this uh, regional tournament? If you guys win this tournament, you guys didn't get a chance to go to Michigan, right? To the yeah. championships? Yeah. Okay. That's the goal, right? Yeah. Okay. Down goes Hawaii next Wednesday. Nice to meet you, Luke. All right, who's next? I'm Brady Mahoki. Uh, I play shortstop and pitcher, and my favorite player is uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. Okay, how many double plays you rolled up? Uh, we ro- we had two. Nice this tournament, yeah. Nice, that's good. Mm-hmm. And you were at short when you did it when those yeah, two came. Both times, yeah. It's good, good. Nice to meet you. All right, how many more we got? Let's. Get, I want to get everybody a little bit of mic time here. Uh, my name is Logan Zaki. I'm utility. I'm a utility guy, and my favorite player is probably Juan Soto. Okay, good choice. You're sitting yeah. a lot of dingers right now, rekindling oh, yeah. the career. Yep. All right. Who's more excited about you playing baseball and going out to Bend, Oregon, your mom or your dad? Who's more excited? Probably probably my dad. He's your biggest fan? I mean, yeah. My dad's been loving baseball. Cool. Did he play? Yeah, he played in Brazil, actually. Nice. So he played for a while. That's good. I love it. Dad will be with you. He going out to watch you? Yep. Okay, He's good coming. stuff. Make dad proud. I know you will. My name is Jacob Terry, and I pitch and play second base, and my favorite player is Nolan Arenado. Okay, good choice on Nolan there. I like it. A little variety. Or, uh, who's most excited about you going out to Bend? Who? Probably my dad. Good. Dad's important. Who's fundraised the most money, you or your teammates? Probably my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, you guys have been so. The re, these guys came and knocked my door. By the way, these guys have been out beating the streets, selling. Sold me a Papa Murphy car. I got a free pizza out of it. Uh, so if you see these guys out in the community, and we'll give you the Venmo where you can donate. If all our listeners send them like five bucks, they'd be done with their fundraising this morning. So that would be helpful. Uh, we got one more player that hasn't been up here. Introduce yourself, young man. Uh, I'm Justin Rep. I catch. My favorite player is Bryce Harper, and my favorite subject's history. Okay. Okay, now, Coach, are all these kids, uh, this is not the whole team. Who are we missing? This is not the whole team. We still have uh, Seth Rizemary. He he plays our first and outfield. Uh, Nix uh, Viroska, he plays uh, shortstop. We got Levi Smith, pitcher first, and Jet Patton, shortstop and outfield. Okay. And, and I, I play a little bit of my uh, first baseline coach, so... Yeah, I'm there on first to, to wave them on through or hold them up. So. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, if Coach, tell, tell people, like I alluded to, I know you guys have been out doing some fundraising. We've seen soccer teams doing. I know these other little league teams that are going to San Bernardino, they're out fundraising. But our community always rallies. So if people could throw you 5 10 bucks this morning, how can they do that? Uh, yeah, so we have a Venmo already set up. It's at Utah Juniors. That's at Utah Juniors. So go to Venmo and just type that in. That'll take you right to where you need to go and uh you know t- to the sponsors that have already helped us out we are so appreciative this community is great the neighbors are great um businesses are awesome we're getting a lot of help they're very um very positive with their their comments and and they just like to see the boys out there hustling you know I, I, i'd buy anything from a kid knocking my door to to make you know a few bucks yeah you know i just i, I appreciate the hustle so these guys are hustlers and and uh, great ball players. Yeah, you don't plan on making it, but when you do, you don't have a lot of time to fundraise, do you? You got like no. a week or week and a half, and that's about yeah, it. Yeah, we're down to you know just a few more days, maybe three days left to, to fundraise, and we're only about halfway there. What so. was the goal, and how much have you raised? So the goal was uh, about twenty thousand dollars. We're we've gotten eleven so far. And okay. So the next few days, these boys are are hitting the streets, you know, knocking doors, going into businesses, doing everything they can, and. All right, everybody listening, if you just go send 5, 10, 20 bucks, uh, that'll help them a ton. If you can spare a couple bucks at Utah Juniors, at Utah Juniors. Um, who, who's the uh, the most outspoken player on this team? Who talks the most? Somebody point at somebody. Uh, Brady. Brady? Brady. Brady? I've, they're all pointing in different directions right now. Um uh, Hey, step somebody who the most outspoken player. Step back up. I can't. I, if I've gotten all your names there already. You hey, Luke, you got it. Luke, get up there. Luke. Step up there, Luke. Cool hand, Luke. You're not scared. Yeah, pull the mic up. 
Um, how much of practice time have you guys in this team put in for this moment where you guys get to go out and re- represent Utah and play in this regional? We have put in a lot of time and work to play in this regional and take it to Michigan. How much How much, How much? much time in the cages? How much time on the field? Uh, hours, right? Countless hours. This week we've practiced for Monday, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and those practices were about two hours each. Okay, so they're putting in the work. Coach, with all these kids saying they pitch, how do you set your lineup for pitching? Is it just based on a field decision, or, or is there a kind of a set order you've got established with this group of kids? I mean, we, we look at our opponent and see what we're going to need, um, see how those those guys are going to take it. And, uh, you know, with, with everybody pitching, we can kind of just see how they feel that day, too. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, real quick, with, with this team – uh, so, so this is little league, but it's it's the the older group that goes from twelve year old to fifteen year olds, and they're the the junior uh, the junior league of little league. So they're they're that group right before they start getting into high school. Yeah. So these these boys are they put in a lot of work over the last you know I don't know how many years in little league. Uh, some do club ball. So they, these guys are, are ballers. These are, these are players that have been around for a while, and it's going to be exciting to follow them into high school and, and watch what they can, can do. It's always fun for me because over the years, we've always had a lot of these teams come through, and then later on, it'll be five, ten years down the road, I'll have somebody come up to me and just say, hey, I remember coming on your, your show when we were you know, 12, 13 years old, and they remember that. So hopefully you guys remember. We're going to be rooting for you guys. Get us the link to watch. We'll share that on our socials. Uh, and we'll, get, we'll get, and everybody go give them five, ten, twenty bucks. If you can spare a hundred, give them a hundred bucks at Utah Juniors on Venmo. And uh, guys, go win the dang thing. Is anybody played San Bernardino? Anybody played on any of the teams that made it San Bernardino? So, so this is big time for all, all of you. Going to Bend, Oregon, win that. How many teams are in Bend? Uh, I think we're 13, 14 up there. Okay. Yeah. And Every only st- one goes to Michigan. Uh, one goes to Michigan. Every state's represented, and we are the team from Utah. So. Let's go. We're representing everybody. Let's go. And they'll be back to help for more fundraising when they get to Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> we can make that deal. I'll help you out. I'll help you out, guys. Guys, thanks for coming in. Go go hit it hard and pitch it well, and uh, we'll see you guys talking in a, here in studio about the trip to Michigan in a couple of weeks. Got to take a break. Come back. Get you ready for the weekend in sports on The Drive. Good morning.